Hey guys, I'm Panda Tank, and this is the submachine gun comparison. As always, I'm using a red dot sight and magnum ammo. Due to the recent patch, the following weapons were altered. The base damage of the PP2000 has been reduced to balanced increased range, and the damage over long range for the 9A91 has been increased to compensate for its lower magazine size. Before we start, this video is going to be a two part video. First up is the 9A91 Aftermat. The 9A91 is the highest damage submachine gun but has the slowest fire rate. It has a fast reload rate and a low recoil. The gun suffers from a low magazine size of 20 bullets and compared to the other submachine guns this is the lowest magazine size. Hit firing with this weapon is fine but for long range combat the 9A91 still retains the high damage. The damage decrease on the 9A91 for long range combat is not as bad as the other SMGs, making the weapon still useful even though it has a low magazine size. Overall the weapon is great to use, it's definitely very challenging to use due to its low magazine size, and with the recent patch it makes this weapon still usable after you obtain weapons, because it does have the highest damage over long range. Of course this weapon can be a risk at times, because this weapon pretty much requires you to hit every single bullet. So for you guys who tend to overshoot targets, you'll be at risk when using this weapon. And obviously in laggy situations, this weapon can be a pain in the ass. The playstyle I think it will suit will have to be the defensive players. This is because if you're rushing, you'll find yourself worrying about the ammo. It can take out multiple targets, but you have to be really good with it. So be accurate and you're fine, and burst fire a lot. And remember to keep an eye on your ammo counter. Next up is the Scar L Carbine. The Scar L Carbine does the same damage as the 9A91 at close range. It has the same fire rate speed but a slower reload rate. It has a low recoil and has a magazine size of 30. Hit firing with this weapon is fine and the long range damage is slightly less than the 9A91. Overall the Scar L is a powerful weapon, it can take out multiple targets at the same time even though it has a slow fire rate, and with its high damage short burst is an easy task. So at every range the Scar L is quite dominant, however it's quite lucky that this gun is not overpowered, as it can be matched by someone else who is quite experienced in another gun. This weapon suits every playstyle, being offensive, defensive, as it is a very friendly gun to use. Next up is the XM8 Compact. The XM8 Compact does less damage than the Scar L, but has a faster fire rate. It has a faster reload rate compared to the 9A91 and has a low recoil. It has a magazine size of 30 bullets and hit firing with this weapon is fine. For long range combat, the x Compact does slightly less damage compared to the Scar L. So grouped up with its fast fire rate, this weapon is able to take out Scar L users. Overall the weapon is great to use, it isn't that much different compared to the Scar L in terms of usability, it can take out multiple targets at the same time, and really this gun is friendly to use. Personally I think it suits every playstyle, being offensive and defensive. It's really reliable at every distance, though obviously you need to be quite experienced with SMGs. Also to let you know, this weapon is not outmatched by the higher damage weapons. Because even though it has quite a big difference compared to the higher damage weapons, it is still as effective as them. The difference in fire rate between the weapons makes this just as good, obviously for the loss of the damage. And even better, at long range, the damage isn't that much different from the high damage weapons, making the fire rate even more useful. Next up is the AKS 74U Krinkov. Before I start, I forgot to mention that the AKS has been nerfed. The weapon now has a higher kick value to it so meaning this weapon will jump a lot when you aim down the sight. Anyway, the AKS deals the same damage as the XM8 Compact. 
However, it has a slightly slower fire rate compared to X and May. It has a slower reload rate and as mentioned the recoil is high. It has the same magazine size of 30 bullets and hit firing with this weapon is fine. For long range combat the AKS-74U does the same damage as the x Mate Compact. Overall the AKS-74U is still a good weapon to use, however for those who used to use this weapon a lot, you will notice that the recoil is quite a big difference. And personally for me, the AKS is not as good as it used to be pre-patched. For those who like to use SMGs at every distance, the long range usability is not as good as it used to be, so you'll find yourself struggling trying to kill someone due to its kick value. The playstyle I would recommend for this weapon would have to be a close range combater, as it still is effective weapon such as the x Compact due to its uh, damage rate. And because it was patched with higher recoil, this weapon is not as effective as it is at long range, making the x Compact preferable if you want to shoot at every distance.